This is a podcast from the Orthocycle Foundation, a registered charity in the UK. In this podcast, we're going to talk about the application of splintage for lower limb fractures. When a bone fractures, the bone ends overlap. This is because of the pull of the muscles. There's bleeding into the potential space around the fracture, and there could be pain with movement. There's also potential for more soft tissue damage. When we put on traction, we pull the bones out to length. This could be direct using the bone itself, or indirect using the soft tissues as a proxy. We put on traction in order to stabilise long bones prior to the surgery. It can also be used for first aid or for transport. It gives good pain relief and can prevent further soft tissue trauma and bleeding. It's helpful in, uh, prior to surgery because it keeps the muscles out to length. In this series we're going to look at three different types of traction. The Kendrick traction device is widely used in pre-hospital care and mountain rescue. Its advantages are that it's quick to apply, it's quite a cheap device compared to the alternatives and it's easy to put on the Thomas splint. It also folds down to be quite compact when uh, it, uh, it's stored because of the folding tubes. However, I would uh, caution you that it's less robust than a Sega splint or a Thomas splint and I would only use it for temporary traction as a first aid measure. When you get to hospital, you need to change back to a Thomas splint. In this demonstration, we're going to apply a Kendrick traction splint to Karim's leg. So we're going to go through the same pressures again. So we're going to A, B and C are all fine. He's had a femoral nerve block to help him with pain uh, and it's an isolated injury. Um, we're going to check his neurovascular status before we start and then we're going to check that we've got all the equipment that we need. So the Kendrick traction splint, uh, the way that it works is by pushing up into the groin and uh, hopefully the initial tuberosity and by providing counter traction on the ankle to push that downwards. And that's stabilised with an external pole, which essentially is like tent poles, they all clip together so that we can change the height. Okay, there's an ankle strap, and the ankle strap is going to be able to give us our um, uh, traction on this end. We want the red end to be as far down as possible to begin with, because we're going to be pulling on that in order to get our traction. Yes. And we've got these external straps as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply this to the thigh. And these two, this big piece of plastic has got two holes in it, which is going to connect with the tent poles. So that's got to be on the outside. So we're going to pass this underneath Korean's thigh, into his groin. And this just clips together. I want the this area for the tent holes to be right on the side. So it might be worth putting a pad in here just for comfort. Okay. That's as proximal as it's going to go. Now I want to measure uh, out the pole and apply the ankle strap. I want the pole to be a lot longer than his leg. Um, if you get the, the black line about the level of the foot, that's probably enough. Um, so, I'm going to put this ankle strap on. And that provides us with a hoop underneath. And so the yellow hook is going to attach to the tent pole at the bottom. And then at the top end, I'm going to pull that in two apply that into the plastic retain device. Now at the bottom I've got the green this green strap which I can use to tighten this up. And then if I want to apply traction what I'm going to do is pull on the red strap. So I'm going to pull that and that's generating traction. By pushing up into the groin and pulling down onto the leg. Once I've done that, I can get these velcro straps. And they're colour coded, so red, amber, green. You know which direction to put. 
And again, you can put padding in the side as well, which will help to make it more comfortable for the patient. And um, once I've finished, I'm going to check his neurovascular status again. Okay, so the Kendrick traction splint is used quite commonly by the ambulance service um, uh, to apply to femoral fractures before they come to hospital. Once you get into hospital, you would want to change this for a Thomas splint as soon as possible. Okay, thanks very much. If you're interested in our videos and the work of the Orthocycle Foundation, you can visit our website and if you wish, you can make a donation.